I need to watch out for is big wombo combo. And uh, make sure to actually back dodge instead of side dodge that. a very obvious tell when it starts is a uh, his big scream. Damn it. That was one of the, that was a Black Knight style dig the weapon into the ground. The weapon of course being his hand. Fuck, I got mm, I caught up in that. Caught me again. He's a tricker. He's a tricksy fella. I think I kept switching between my shield and my... I had it double-handed to do my attack there, and unfortunately... Like, I... I how should I put this? You can press uh, Y or triangle or whatever it is on your controller to two-hand it. The problem is that uh, you lose your shield. I pressed Y, and like, I, I pressed Y attack, got hit, and during my animation I pressed... I think I pressed Y too. So as soon as I went out of the uh, stagger animation, I went, I like, uh, un-two-handed it. But I pressed Y again. Like, I couldn't tell... I, I couldn't tell where... Or, like, I couldn't tell if I had it two-handed or not. Because I was kind of caught, like, uh, lost in... Oh, fuck. Come on. I was kind of lost in his uh, hairy model, so I couldn't really tell where my shield was. And if it, like, I couldn't tell where my shield was, and I also couldn't tell if I had my shield in hand now, be and it was switching or not. Like, if I needed to press Y again, really my own fault. I think this will be the last time. I feel like I'm starting to, to reach that you're not doing any better threshold. I'm learning his moves. I'm learning that keeping your shield up and circling him isn't a terrible idea. Damn it. Damn it. No, damn it. Fuck. I rolled back, but it was too late. I recognize that combo, but he always fucking... It's because he not only does his attacks have, like, a very wide range around him, but... They... they he turns while doing it. Okay, uh, let's do this. Really none of them. I really wish that they would just give you, let you warp to all the bonfires. Because as it is, it's kind of just a nuisance. Right, let's head down, let's, let's see Sif. Sif is the reason why we're doing this, and I hope. Yeah, it should. It shouldn't. It shouldn't matter if we kill Manus or not, as long as we save him. Let's move 
through here nice and swiftly. What we're gonna do is go fight Sif. And the difference here is that Sif normally is just a big guy that attacks you. Big uh, wolf thing that attacks you. But if you save him back in uh, Ula Seal, back in the past, he uh, recognizes you and you get a different cutscene. Doesn't change anything, he still has to fucking fight you because whatever. But you know. Might as well see it. It's real fucking funny. People have a, a funny habit of sticking signs right near uh, places where you can activate things. I don't know why exactly they think that's such such a funny idea. I mean, you can use it you can use it to some amusing effect in some places, but most of the time it's like, yeah, that's mm, that's minorly annoying. Alright. Let's get this out. Going up there, full Artorius armor. This is for the extra fields. Yeah, you recognize this? Recognize this this stone bridge here, this sloping side. Is there another one over here? Uh No, in this version in this uh part of the timeline that's not a not another way down. Yeah, does it look familiar to you guys? I think at some point it was supposed to be that you had to use the Crest of Artorias to open this door, but you don't actually. You can come through here in a different direction. Okay. So let's quick chance this. Get out our shield. And start this fight. Fairly certain you get the Cutscene here. Yep, we do. Now it's extra sad. The Sif apparently doesn't want to fight us. Although he does, for some reason. Oh, also his sword grew with him, weirdly enough. Ooh, boy. That damn thing kills you. Damn thing kills lots of people. That damn, uh... I gotta say, if you're not wanting to kill us, he's sure doing that fucking double spin a lot. There we go. Yeah, Sif is mm, not very hard. Especially now, with uh, our stats. It, I think it's uh, made that way so you can beat him, so you can go do the Four Kings and get the uh, get to the Dark Wraith Covenant early. Uh, Earlier than you normally would be able to, at least. Or not would be able to, but you would normally find it later on. Uh, uh,
Let's go buy some more armor. Let's go buy the gloves. Let's finish this set. Don't know what we'll use it because, uh, you know, it's making us slightly chubby. But we might as well buy it. That's a complete set. Okay. I'm gonna go like this for a little bit. Which way do I just have a shield that's lighter? That's five. Crush shield's three. That's pretty good. Okay, that's good. We'll use this for now until we find something we have to stand up against, so to speak. It's a bit of a waste. Oh no, it's actually not as much of a waste as I thought. Um, bam, bam, bam. There's more to return to. The closer are we do. So, 120, it would be 30. Maybe one. Hmm, we are pretty close, honestly. We are kind of right on the edge there. Be a little while before I think we can use that. Damn. Maybe. Uh huh. Sure, that will turn badly for you. That will not. Okay. Hmm. That's right, I'm gonna have to lose a lot of this armor anyway. Okay, let's get a suit that I can use out. Okay, instead of that, this is what we want. Okay. What is that in terms of weight? That is 8.5, which is 10%. Can oh, get another fifteen percent. Hmm. Hmm. So about another ten or twelve pounds, I think. So let's go with just pieces, since that will provide the best armor. Maybe rope, if I remember, not bad. Dingy Robe is honestly one of the best for its weight. Yeah. Huh. Aren't we weirdos?
thing here have way less protect from war. Or way only sleeping. Rolling fast. Good enough for me. How close are we on that way anyway? 18, yeah, that's probably about as close as we can physically get. And remain rolling. Uh, actually, 20%. 20 pounds is just around that. Slightly better legs. I think this is probably going to be the best we can get. Don't look out back here. So, the reason why we need that is because we need to be wearing this ring when we fight the boss here, or we just plain die. It's not even like a gives you resistance versus the No, you just die. You go down to the area where it is and you just die. We should be in fairly good shape for this boss. This boss, the Four Kings, is a DPS race. It really is. It's just do more damage than they can faster. And while our weapon is far from like a super damaging weapon, the combination of magic and um, Actually, I probably should use pine resin on these guys if I have any sitting around. So they have a very poor affinity for fire. Do I have any pine tar? No. Well, whatever. The little bit of damage extra we get from Great Magic Weapon will help. It won't hurt. That much is at least for sure. try and do real quick here is set our bonfire for the one up in this uh door here. That door's open right there. I have plus fifteen weapon plus fifteen weapon of course it's open. Bring this back. What we're gonna try and do is use just run past all these drakes and get into there. It's probably the fastest shortcut. I think Actually, wait. It's not. It's not. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that then. I, uh, I think it's because I'm used to uh, using this path as the farming route to get titanite chunks and stuff. The best one is probably down. From here. He's probably down uh, from Firelink Shrine. And 
utilizing a bit of hole. Sorry about having to do this again real fast. Just want to have a, a good route. Because there's no bonfires down there in fucking New Londo. <laughs> Nothing but bullshit down there. Send this back up. Now we'll do this. So we'll run through here. Oh, hi. How you doing? Let's let's not let's not let that happen. Damn it. Well, that was a good fight. Dumbass. I was trying to parry him and be cool. Okay. These guys are assholes. Wraiths are assholes. Let's just get that out of the way. It's not even a question there. They're just assholes. Here, roll there. Now, which way is the best way down? I probably just drop off. There we go. I'll be down a flask. Two, honestly, this time, but. Kill a couple of these these uh, dark wraiths just for fun. Maybe we'll get something out of them. Okay, probably not if I'm not wearing the ring. What we're gonna do here is just make mad ass dumb ass sprint. Uh, Thank you, no thank you, go away, go away, go away. I don't like you, I don't like you, I don't like you, I don't like you. And through. Now they can't hurt us. Uh, normally, if we go through the Valley of the Drakes, we end up having to go through the entire lower uh, New Londo section with uh, all of those guys. Uh, so, that way down to Firelink Shrine saves us a bit of time and makes it so we don't have to run past the Drakes. And running past the drakes is a fucking anno annoyance because they have this terrible habit, this terrible annoying habit of getting you caught up in their wings or on their tail. Okay. Uh, you. Alright. Do that. There you are. That thing fucking homes. I don't know if there's any way to get around that. Because look, it's still homing! <laughs> Criminy. I managed to survive this, or even if I die, 
I'll explain it a bit in a second here. Basically, uh, kings keep coming. You only have a certain amount of time between them. Like, if you don't kill them quickly enough, more spawn. Up to four on screen at any time. But technically, you can get a lot more than four kings in this fight. Oh, damn it. Stop running away from me, asshole. There we go. Got him before his homing thing came back around. Where's Kath? I didn't speak to no fucking Frampt. I guess I shouldn't have put the Lord Vessel there. Oh, god damn it. Oh well. It is what it is. I wonder. Okay. Normally if you take that ring off while you're fighting the boss, like you just instantly die, you are... It gives you an actual unique special message that says, Taken by the Abyss. <sighs> okay. Um, let's feed this... To the little Lord Vessel. Let's feed this soul to the Lord Vessel. And let's call it a day. You sorry fool. You Yeah. Sure, whatever. Pissing off all of the serpents. Offer souls to the Lord Vessel. Be Alright. So I kind of fucked up the story there, didn't I? People who have watched or know this game. Uh, yeah. Well, normally that serpent up there would tell you about your fate. Normally the other one that I kind of fucked up getting because I put the Lord Vessel here without talking to either of them uh, would tell you that your fate is to become the Dark Lord and that Gwyn was uh, afraid of fire and that he's falsely prolonging the Age of Fire by get tricking undead people into coming and relinking the front flame. Hmm. Looks like cuneiform. I wonder if any of that's ever been translated. Oh well. I guess I will see you guys later. Goodbye.